，但是他老太太相对难点。他反正是他难是难在还有一些细节上。嗯，是为什么难？Soft. Go to the bottom of the key. It's a matter of how you keep playing, okay?
快时慢的，做的 b a s b a s 95% of the music got to be perfectly on beat, and then the other five percent maybe you can change it a little bit and still sound good. All right, if you make everything all over the place, then it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's get it on time. Don't try to play too soft, like really. Let's just sub the the machine and just play perfectly on beat there. Uh, let's try one hundred and ten. Ready? Yeah. No, okay, no. Don't, don't even slow down.
低的低的低的那个的，你看他玩的配，看看 ，That's good。
both are together. switching between the left hand and the right hand, automatically you will sound a little bit uneven, unease. It's a way to show the music, you know, it's kind of trying to struggle a little bit. That's what that is. That's why, you know, something that you can just play with one hand, you split it up into two parts, left and the right. It's like going back and forth, like, you know, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And go on. Make sense? That's right. Okay, now the other thing is this note right here, the pedal, don't step on it on the note, step on it a little bit behind the note. Why? Because that's you feel like the pedal here. Yeah? So step on it later so it's clean. Okay? Try again.
<laughs> he missed one group now. <sighs> so sneaky. Let's see if this one stuff three notes before that. Yeah, jump on right here. Stop. Click on right here. 
one. Come on, do 
next but overall you just want to be on time okay yeah so this is 108 108 to the eighth notes okay now let's look at the, the dynamics of this music now as you can see it's not that hard right once you start working on it it's just yeah just it just put together easily yeah did you find it easier or harder than the tarantella? Harder. Really? Yeah. In what way? Hmm? How? Why is it harder? I don't know. It's just it just seems harder. It's nowhere as fast as a tarantella, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take that much energy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it repeats. I thought it repeats too. But this one is a lot shorter. So if you think about the repeat, it's just you got this. You got this, you got this. It's only a page and a half of yeah, actual material. Yes. Yeah. So, really not that much. <laughs> so, let me see. So at the beginning, don't play the right hand too. I'm, I'm not doing any rubato right now. Maybe I will, I don't know. But you don't want to get softer than that, okay? But the first note's softer than the second one. There's a crescendo into it.
thing. Same thing. You see that? It's the same thing three times. On the right hand, just one step lower. It's like the waterfall, just the whole thing. Something like that. So after you give one more di do de di, keep it loud on the do do di de, and then that's do di de do, you guys di de do di, like that. You hear that? From di do. On the first one, keep more sound. Do di do de di, keep the sound do do di de. That's the first one, right? dynamic markings in this piece, right? What does that mean? You have a pianissimo at the beginning and you don't see much dynamics after that. You know what that means? That means you have the freedom to, to create that dynamic. Okay, so once you get to the second time next time but in here you kind of want to die down a little bit
out of the pen. How lonely you are. It's like, you know, somebody's dancing with you. start okay this is a weird pedal start right you know what that means yeah. i don't go ch -ch -ch. i just go <laughs> do you know why it's definitely slowly okay here let's go let's go all the way Sound. It's a little bit weak right now. This is definitely like when you get to here, it's probably like mezzo forte, and then you got a crescendo more than a forte. At least that. Okay, try again from right there.
that much, mm, it's just oh, uncomfortable to listen to. You want that. You want to be on fire in there. Something like that. <coughs> Try to play on time first. Okay, next time I want to show you the rubato and stuff. I think you'll be fine playing both pieces for the recital. Both pieces? Yeah, why not? Okay. The legend says Beethoven wrote this piece to a girl that she liked. Your wife? No. He was a terrible person, so he never found a wife. <laughs> Yeah, he, he is really grumpy. He's always like, No, he didn't even get a girlfriend. <laughs> so sad, right? Why is he so grumpy then? I don't know, because he didn't couldn't get a girlfriend or something, I don't know. Then but he, he had to be not grumpy to get a girlfriend. Yeah, right. But since he didn't have a girlfriend, so he was grumpy. Anyways, so just, just be nice. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of kind of rough. Back then, I mean, I th honestly, he lived to what, 50 some year old, yeah, and then he died after that. And then he lost all his hearing in the last couple of years of his life as a musician, as a composer. Think about you if you're a painter, but you cannot see. He's a musician, but he couldn't hear. So in the last few years of his life, he wrote music. Just basically by imagination. 
was he wrote music his entire life so he can actually hear the sound without hearing the sound. He would, he would write a note on a page so he can hear it without playing on the piano or listening to it. It's quite magical, right, in some way. Well, if he imagines it, that's not magical. Well, think of it like this. Imagine you paint a bird a 10,000 times. You can do it with the eyes closed. Really? Yeah. Also, you painted a tree 10,000 times. You can do it with the eyes closed. Mm -hmm. Not even one day you cannot see anymore. You can still close your eyes and, and paint beautifully. <laughs> That's pretty lovely. Mm -hmm. In some way, it's pretty sad. But yeah, he kind of died along in some way. <laughs> Does he live? Not really. Musicians. You ask a good question. Do musicians get rich? Not really. I think there were like there were like two or three musicians that actually make a good living, like composers. They actually make good living, but never like rich, rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know Mozart? Yeah. He died in poverty. What? That means he was pretty broke when he died. Because he spent all his money on party. See, that's not a good idea, right? If you make money, let's let's not burn those money on on, on party, you know. <laughs> and Bach, do you know Bach? Yeah. Yeah, he made quite good money actually, but he had like fourteen children or something, so he he spent all his money raising kids. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not kidding. What? Yeah, so Haydn, Haydn is one that makes good living. Um, why? Because he worked uh, for the kings and the queens, and they do pay pretty well. Yeah, do you know Franz Liszt? No. He's like the person who invented piano recital. He was the king of piano in the 1800s. Now, he was like a rock star back then, and he was pretty rich. Yeah, and then he became a monk. What does he have now? You know those, you know the Chinese monk like Guangkou, and then in the Shaolin Temple, and those are called monk. In the Western world, it's the same. I mean, they don't really like go Guangkou, but they just like in a monastery, which is like a church, uh, in the middle of all the mountains. So you are completely separated from outside world. You just go there. And you work, you pray, you just live outside of the normal people's world, kind of thing, you know. He was he became a, a priest, like for like a couple of years, and he was like, no, just stop it. <laughs> and he went back and became a pianist again. But when he became old, his fingers are all messed up because he practiced too much. Is he a judge? No, a priest. Like he he eventually went back and became. A, uh, became like pianist and composer and a teacher later but he was his finger was all pretty messed up because he practiced too much when he was young <laughs> so hmm let me see yeah not that many composers and wow actually <laughs> I did pretty good he survived long enough uh Bach did pretty good um I don't want to do I think it's fun when you compose something, you know, for your, you know, for fun. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, Beethoven, he kind of died alone. Yeah, he died alone. He doesn't have any close family or friends. And he doesn't have a family? Close families. He, he tried to, tried to, to, you know, raise his nephew, but teaching him piano and educate him and stuff, but his nephew hated him. <laughs> Because he was so grumpy, he was so strict, so mean all the time. <laughs> yeah, so that's <laughs> the story of Beethoven. You know? <laughs> well, so sometimes his music is like <clears throat> really grumpy. You can you can hear see that in his his personality. Oh, oh, some people say he's bipolar. Do you know what bipolar means? Yeah. That means like for the you know, right now he can be a really sweet person, and the next second, you know, he will become the most angry person on earth. Just just like that, unpredictable. And everything is so extreme, you know. Can you play the tarantella real quick? Yeah. 
we want to make sure the chair is in a, in a nice place. Okay? slow practice for the middle part we're going to top note and then no rush and together those no need to be together okay same thing here bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba. they all need to line up okay other than that not bad yeah so do a slow practice i think you can play a little bit faster than that but is the power okay Power is not bad for the most part. It can be louder though when it's when it's time to be loud. I know this is a heavy piano, but yeah, it can be a little bit louder. Okay. All right, that's it for now. Wow, give me a lot of questions. Shoot you. That's just so much.